to find the horizontal asymptotes of the function x squared minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1, we should first recall the definition of a horizontal asymptote. If the limit of the function as x goes to infinity is equal to L, or the limit of the function as x goes to negative infinity is equal to L, then we say that y equals L is a horizontal asymptote of the function. It's a horizontal line that the function gets arbitrarily close to. So to find the horizontal asymptotes of the function, if in fact it has any, we must evaluate the limit of the function as x goes to infinity and as x goes to negative infinity. Let's first consider x going to positive infinity. One way to think about this is that as x gets really big, as it approaches infinity, this minus 1 and this plus 1 really don't matter at all, because x squared is going to be a very large number indeed. So the dominant terms are the x squareds in the numerator and denominator. Now if we just go off our intuition and ignore the negative 1 and the plus 1, it's clear that this limit is 1, because x squared over x squared cancels out to just 1. This reasoning is correct, but we can also describe it a little more formally. Since we suspect x squared is the dominant term, we can divide the numerator and denominator by x squared, and we'll easily be able to see the behavior of this limit. Dividing the numerator by x squared, we have x squared divided by x squared, which is 1, and then we have minus 1 divided by x squared. In the denominator, x squared divided by x squared is 1, and then we have plus 1 divided by x squared. Clearly then, 1 over x squared and 1 over x squared, both of these things approach 0 as x gets arbitrarily large. Hence, all we have is 1 over 1, which of course is 1, as we suspected. And the same logic applies as x goes to negative infinity. Dividing the numerator and denominator by x squared, we get this expression, and it's clear that these terms go to 0, so we just have 1 over 1, which is 1. This means y equals 1 is a horizontal asymptote of the function, and so the function has just one horizontal asymptote. It's possible that these limits both exist and are distinct, and so a function could have two different horizontal asymptotes, or neither limit could exist, and the function could have no horizontal asymptotes. But as for this function, we see that it's one horizontal asymptote is y equals one, as we can see in this graph. As x goes to positive infinity, the function is approaching the horizontal line y equals one, and as x goes to negative infinity, the function is approaching the horizontal line y equals one. So to find horizontal asymptotes, just evaluate Evaluate the limits at positive and negative infinity. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Love. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.